Concept of this video is super simple. As the title suggests, my top 10 free WordPress plugins for 2026. Let's kick things off with my SEO plugin of choice, SEO Press. The free version of SEO Press brings pretty much everything you should need to get your site found online. It's easy to set up, easy to work with, and the free version has a ton of features included in it. From its simple onboarding wizard through to getting the details that you need to optimize the content of your website, all wrapped up in a nice clean interface. If you're migrating from a previous SEO plugin, SEO Press has you covered there as well. You can easily take over your details from any other plugin into SEO Press during the installation process and be up and running super quickly. Then you can customize almost every aspect of your SEO for your website. Like I say, the free version has more than enough for most users users to get stuck in and start getting their website ranked without spending a single penny, cent or dollar. Next on the list is backing up, migrating and handling all those things with your website. Now you may be building your website on a test server and when you're ready to launch you want to migrate it over to the live server. This is where a tool like WP Vivid Migration and Backup comes in super handy. Again, the free version of this has so many options it makes it incredibly simple to handle all those things. We can have backups on site, off site, we can use various different cloud platforms, Dropbox, Google Drive, SWS and so on. On. I use this on every single site and while I have the premium version I also use the free version on a lot of use cases because it handles everything I need from daily weekly monthly backups to the whole process of migrating sites if you want more take a look at the premium version because there are some super useful features there but I've got videos on how to use this to back up your site to migrate your site and so on I'll put those in the details down below so you can check those out if you want to upgrade you absolutely can do if you just want to use Use this the way it is for free it is really really useful so you've got your SEO on your website you've got your backups in place but how do you track things without having to use something like Google Analytics for a lot of users that's just absolutely overkill and there are so many pieces of data inside there it can be mind-boggling for the uninitiated this is where a tool like independent analytics comes in super useful I use this again on all of my websites it allows me to track any of the data that I need to be able to make decisions. The cool thing is, it's GDPR compliance. We don't need to worry about data being stored and sent over to other servers. Everything is stored on your local server so you have full control and access to that information. The free version gives you more than enough information to be able to track users where they're coming from, see the most popular content on your website and make data back decisions super easily. If you want to ramp it up and use it with things like WooCommerce, FluentCart and so on, this is where the premium version comes in super useful. However, for most users that simply want to grab the data to find out where people are coming from and make backed decisions based upon data, the free version gives you more than enough useful info to get the job done. Now, speaking of selling things online, this is where Fluent Cart is a really good option. The free version of Fluent Cart gives you more than enough to get your store up and running and start making sales and potentially making money. You can use it with digital products. You can use it with physical products. There's plenty of options. And while this is new to the table, it's only been out a couple of months. It is being developed very, very quickly. And the cool thing is we're starting to see third party tools supporting Fluent Cart, which in my opinion is always a solid way forward. We've seen that independent analytics is supporting it and there are various other tools and plugins for WordPress that are also supporting this. Automation tools like Flowmatic and Bitflows and so on. So it opens up the potential to connect this up to various other tools inside your particular tool set. If you want a lightweight, fast to work with and easy to set up cart solution for WordPress, check out Fluent Cart Free. And again, if you want to upgrade to the premium version to get those extra features, you absolutely can do. At the time of releasing this video, there's an early bird lifetime deal available to you as well. So you may want to jump on that and start saving yourself some money over the long term if you want those extra premium features. 
Now, sticking with the same team behind Fluent Cart, Fluent SMTP. If you send email from your WordPress website, you realistically need to have an SMTP plugin installed to be able to handle that and not have your emails being lost in the ether by relying upon the default WordPress way of dealing with emails. This, again, is an absolutely free plugin. It's installed on tens of thousands of websites, has a fantastic rating, and it simply allows you to do one simple, clean job. Set your website up in WordPress for all of your forms to be able to send via the SMTP service that you want to give it. Whether this is the SMTP server on your hosting account or using an external service, this makes it super easy. The other cool thing with Fluent SMTP is we can log all the information on this. We can find out any forms, any content that's actually getting lost or this errors. We can have that data stored. We can even have it set up so we can just use this to test our forms out without sending an email. Full logging system is included. Absolutely free. There's no premium upgrade or anything like that. Well worth installing on every single WordPress website that you need to send emails from. Next on my list is another plugin from the same team, WP Manage Ninja. This isn't sponsored, these are just cool little plugins. This is Fluent Auth. Excuse my face being slapped on the front page of this. It's flattering, but not necessarily the best sales pitch. But what Fluent Auth does is it allows you to lock down the security on your WordPress website. If you want two-factor authentication to make sure that codes are sent out or various different ways of handling security when users try to log in, Fluent Auth has you covered there. You want to log all the data about any user that's actually logging in, any user that's trying to log in and is being blocked, all the data can be stored and used inside Fluent Auth. There are so many useful little features, including the ability to easily customize your login screens, have redirects sent to where you want them to go to after they log in. So many use cases where Fluent Auth should be installed on every single WordPress website you set up. It makes it a much more professional, less WordPress kind of centric login setup but there's so many little useful security features in Fluent Auth. I'd highly recommend you install that on your websites. Even if you have no other security plugins installed, this is gonna at least give you a little bit extra defense over a plain old vanilla WordPress website. So now we've talked about dealing with SEO, with backups, with dealing with analytics, maybe selling online and a little bit of security. Your website, as it starts to grow, can very quickly end up getting bogged down with tons of data that is kind of redundant. For example, WordPress has revisions. Every time you make a change, there are revisions being saved in the background, and this can mount up very quickly. This leads you to having an unoptimized database in WordPress full of junk that isn't needed, and it's potentially slowing your site down. That's where this little free tool called WP Sweep comes in super handy. You can choose what, where, and when to delete the content inside your database to make sure you have a database that is optimized. One quick caveat, you do need to make sure that when you do this, you know what you're doing. It's not complicated, but I would also recommend you create a backup prior to cleaning your database. Again, this is a good reason why using something like WP Vivid Backup and Migration let you do that super easily. Run a quick manual backup, then do your sweep with WP Sweep to clean your database, check everything is still working okay, and optimize your website. Super quick, super easy, and absolutely free. Now, next up, when you want to move beyond the basic structure of WordPress, your things that you post in your pages and so on, you're going to start looking at creating custom fields. This is going to allow you to create custom post types, add custom fields to it, and so on. An easy way of being able to organize the content on your website. So, for example, maybe the people that work at your business, testimonials, job listings, all manner of different things. You're going to need a tool like advanced custom fields to be able to handle that. I've been using ACF for over 10 years. It's the tool that I use on most of my projects to allow me to expand what I do inside the native WordPress. ACF itself has more than enough for probably 90% of use cases. If you need those extra things like relationships and things like that, the pro version or premium version was probably what you need. But for most use cases, the free version of ACF is going to get the job done nicely. It's integrated well, it's supported well by WordPress and multiple different third-party plugins and themes. So it's a very, very well-known, well-used, and well-supported plugin for WordPress. Next up, I've got two tools that are very similar on the face of it, but they do have some distinguishing differences. What are they? They're CSS frameworks. We've got core framework and we've got fancy framework. What's the main difference between the two? Core framework supports Bricks, Gutenberg, 
oxygen and so on. So it supports multiple different platforms. However, if you want to get the most out of working with Core Framework in Bricks, for example, I would recommend you purchase the actual Bricks integration tool. This is where the difference comes in. Fancy Framework only works with Bricks, and it's intended to work natively inside the Bricks kind of setup, so using the native Bricks functions. This means that you have a completely free version if you want to use it with Bricks. However, if you are more of a Gutenberg user, this is where Core Framework comes in super handy. Their Core Framework and Gutenberg integration is absolutely free. So if you are working with Gutenberg, this is what I would recommend. If you're working with Bricks and you have zero budget and you don't want to have to manually deal with the actual CSS framework, then I would say Fancy Framework is a good starting point to hit the ground running. Either way, both of them give you a ton of options to allow you to easily handle styling, layout, all those kinds of good things. Take a look at the both of those and see which one actually meets your particular use case. But these are my 10 free tools for WordPress that I would highly recommend you check out in 2026. Am I suggesting you install all of them? Absolutely not. But a lot of these are tools that I would recommend you do install if you are using WordPress. SEO, backups, those kinds of things. You need to have that going on on every single WordPress website. But I'm going to pass it over to you now. What are your must-have WordPress plugins and tools of choice in 2026? Let me have a list down below so I can check out anything that I'm not seeing on my list of tools. Anyway, all applicable links are in the description down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.